address tomorrow night? What do you want to hear from him as far as New York issues, as far as national issues? It's a good question. I did an, uh, a piece on this uh, that should go online this morning. I'd be curious what you think because I respect your judgment. They say the State of the Union, uh, I was in the federal government under Bill Clinton. I was the HUD secretary. So I th sat through uh, eight State of the Unions. The State of the Union is the President's message. Uh, it's his opportunity to lay out his vision or his change in vision. He has signaled that he wants to uh, lay out a vision where there's more bipartisanship. Now, the State of the Union, it's what you say, it's then how you say it, and the credibility of what you say. I can stand up here and say, I have blonde hair, blue eyes, and a little button nose. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Uh, that could be my message. Uh, the problem is it lacks credibility. Now, they say the president's going to get up and say, I want a more bipartisan government, a more bipartisan approach. Really? Well, that's a dramatic 180 degree turn, isn't it? Just last week, you put forth an immigration bill that polarized. Just last December, you signed a tax reform bill that was done purely on partisan lines without even a modicum of deliberation or inclusion of the Democrats that had a provision called SALT, which is the deductibility of state and local taxes, devastates 12 states. The states that you devastate were all Democratic states they didn't have a Republican senator. They are all states that Donald Trump lost. They include New York and California and 40% of the GDP. And you pass the penalty on those 12 states so they could pay for your tax cut for the other states. You taxed the Democratic states to provide a tax cut to Republican states. It was an economic civil war. And now you want bipartisanship. How convenient. Why don't you act in a bipartisan way? And if you're going to suggest you want bipartisanship in this speech, I'm sure you're going to have proposals that are bipartisan, right? And I'm sure you're going to show a shift in your posture where you are going to be bipartisan. Because everything you have shown up until this point says you have no interest in being bipartisan. You want to win, and you'll do whatever you can to win, whatever it takes. And if anything, you have been the most uh, isolationist, uh, the most divisive president that we've had in modern history. So if you want to be bipartisan, Mr. President, you demonstrate the sincerity and credibility because it's exactly opposite everything you have done. Andrew Cuomo, you do not have a button nose. That is the obvious truth. Thank, Thank you, you guys. guys.